Round two of the Skrillex. Okay. So, um... I have a confession to make. I like glowing balls in my face. I'll let you think about that one for a millisecond. Milliseconds up. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed that thought. I've been enchanting. I got wither skulls. You missed out on so much. Why? Because I don't know how to plug my microphone in. No, actually I did. I did. But see, remember that last time I had the problem where Fraps, if I plugged in the mic after Fraps was turned on, it just wouldn't re register the mic as being plugged in ever. This time, somehow the mute button slid across my leg and the mute was turned on. So, that ticked me off. That was a full episode, episode 15 that I recorded. I did a lot. But, um, we're going to go over what I've been doing now, today. Um, I've been enchanting a little bit. How about I take you guys back to the house, and I'll show you what we've got. We got it. We got all of our stuff here. I really need to make another nether chest. Oh, I do have one. Good, 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 good. But I need to do, like, the swoopy swap real quick, where you swap all of this for this, and this, and this, and this, and... That and that and that and that and that and we're done. Perfect. Now I've enchanted a lot of books. Last episode I don't remember what was what. I don't rewatch my own stuff. Basically what I do, my rendering process, is I put it on render and I watch it while it's rendering and do boring stuff on Minecraft. That's the only time I watch it. I don't really even look at the quality because I'm playing at the same time. So I don't know what books you guys have seen. I'm going to have to show you the floor, which I made to get wither skeleton skulls, but we'll get to that shortly, and I really am sorry. Ah, it sucks that I did all that, and the mic was partially muted the whole time, so no sound existed, and I didn't want to do post-com. Basically, I've arranged all the good stuff down here on the bottom, mostly f anything with four or silk touch, stuff like that. And another, all the stuff I've got from now, I've got efficiency, we've got band of arthropods, can screw off. Got a bunch of those. A power four, this is awesome. Unbreaking three, finally. Another efficiency. Feather falling is fantastic. I've gotten quite a bit of good ones, actually. Smite four, probably not. Another unbreaking, good. Respiration is actually pretty good. Efficiency three. Power, sharpness, knockback. Blah, blah, blah. And then all the crappy ones go up here. And I'll probably put them in a dump chest somewhere eventually. But, aside from that, we got a wither fight today, I think. Really depends on how long it takes me to recap and if I'm fully prepared to fight a wither right now. Um, we always do have the backup plan, though, don't we? Yes, no? Yes. I don't know why this is in the mobs dro mob drops chest. I always just, I'm like, nah, I don't want to move it. It's been there for so long, I just can't. Ruin its natural habitat. <laughs> Even though apples aren't a mob drop in the slightest. Should swap it out for carrots and potatoes. Mm. Uh, my cows all grew up. I had a small clip in um the episode I recorded, the act the first episode fifteen, where I was uh I was sitting over here and I I had chucked a bunch of invisibility potions on top of all the cows and I just watched them start sprouting up from the ground and I was like, ah, whoa. But describing it's not nearly as fun or, you know, randomly cut into the video as, it, as if it were actually there and I'm sorry. But, um, yeah, why don't we go check out the floor? I might need some potions. I spent a long time, I built this thing while I was fighting withers, while I was avoiding ghasts. Uh, it really sucks that none of you guys are going to be able to see it, but, well, see me building it while I fend off dozens of withers and, yeah. I finally got some gas tears the other day, too. I guess there's a spot in my floor where it's a 5x5x5 five by five by five opening. They just get trapped in there. 
and um, basically I've gotten two gasts stuck in there now and I just take my fortune my my looting three sword and I got three tiers both times so now I have regen potions which I used for fighting the withers I think I only have oh no I, I've killed more just without the looting sword I think I might have a couple more tiers left why that's important well I'm probably gonna need the best regen potion possible for the wither um I guess if you're wearing really good armor and um you have a good bow and a good sword the wither boss isn't that bad and you guys might be wondering why all of a sudden I changed my mind on the wither boss because I was gonna wait until later to do it well here's the thing I got plenty of iron I could probably make like five of those pyramids not that I need to, but I could probably make five of the pyramids you need for a uh, beacon. Um, and it would really significantly help my mining. So what I kind of want to do is... What do I want to do? I want to get a beacon for mining speed. So I can... Um, get the digging done. Because once I get that bottom floor sorted... Oh, I never talked about that in this because of that lost footage. But basically, what I was talking about is um, I'm going to beat the Wither Boss. I'm going to put a beacon about as close to the center as possible of my nether. Oh, I just realized my sound was off. I'm sorry. Um, You can try to hit me, boy. You can try. Yeah, that's what I thought. But yeah, basically, I'm going to get the get the Wither Boss, fight the... um or get the beacon, put it in the middle. I'm gonna try and get out the entire floor to the size and specs that I want. And then I'll just dig up. And since the beacon reaches upwards, I will be doing that. Yeah. So glad that they broke my staircase. And um, you guys might be wondering what the heck I'm doing here. Well, as I was uh, fighting Withers in the first stronghold, I, m I managed to notice this stronghold. So I came over here, I cut out a huge area of, to um, spawn withers in. You can see I cut out all the hallways here. Cut out the uh, little farm that used to be here. Go down here, cut out the farm here. Cut out a bunch of hallways, blah blah blah. And where did I put this nether brick you might ask? Well, I put it all into a giant floor. You see, withers skeletons tend to spawn on intersections and I so what I did is I connected all of there are six intersections here and I connected all of them except this one here I ran out of stone um yeah so I made the floor I can't come out here and I can just run run to that end and kill anything there run all the way back to this end generally just keep that going but once I get too many of these zombie pigmen spawning I have to uh, I have to run all the way back up in here, run all the way back to the stairs, and, you know, get that all sorted so they'll despawn back on the floor. But basically, that's what I did for most of the episode. I wasn't planning for it to be a big project episode, but it turned out to be one. And, um, yeah. So maybe we'll do that wither boss here shortly but um I kinda wanna go put some random enchantments on some random things what do you guys say um I don't think I've ever been able to make this pearl shot but we'll try <sighs> nope too short Ah, I believe I can just um oh, 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 oh. Oop. ding <laughs> but um yeah, so we'll we'll go put some random enchantments on some things. I kind of want to see what happens when you um, because I saw you 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 can put silk touch like if you have a silk a book that has silk touch on it, you can put that on shears, which makes me wonder like, why is that useful? Did they make it so shears purely destroy leaves faster than everything else now, and you need silk touch to actually pick up the leaf? I don't know. So, um, that's what I want to see. I also want to, um, I want to put unbreaking 
on a fishing pole. Because I think that'd be cool to just, like, just go fish and start off an episode fishing. and. Because <laughs> I guess you get fi experience for catching fish now. And, uh, you know, not like I don't have an infinite supply of food and all that going on already. But it'd be something different, you know. Um, what else did I want to do? Hang on, let me, let me pop open the, the thing and see what all enchantments I can do. I can do while we're not doing anything anyway, so. Um, new things we can do. We can put sharpness, smite, and bane of Arthur Pons on a hatchet. We can put efficiency, silk touch, unbreaking on shears. Um, other new things include... Um, let's get, pop through the portal and I'll read a couple more off. You can put silk touch on shears. Yeah. Unbreaking you can put on a fishing pole. A uh, fishing pole with a carrot. Flint and steel. Um, nothing new with fortune. Oops. So that's cool. Um. <laughs> Put you in there and you don't go in there. You go in this one. I'm going to save all this up and smelt them into bricks for nether brick later in the next update. But, um. So here's what I want to see. Silk Touch. Allows collection of normally unobtainable, unobtainable blocks. The normal requirements for mining still apply. Iron a better, blah, blah, blah. Enchanting she shears with silk touch requires an anvil and an appropriate block. Oh, no shite. Unbreaking on several things would be nice. Let's see, you can also put unbreaking on any weapon now. It's like a bow would be pretty, pretty efficient thing to put, a, put that on. You can also put unbreaking on armor. Which you couldn't do before. You can put thorns on everything armor related. Basically all four pieces. Um, yeah. <laughs> Man, I'm still waiting for them to put allow me to put blast protection on my shield and my pickaxes. <laughs> um, those are all the crappy ones, I th think. <laughs> so why don't we hop up here and grab a fresh pair of shears? Do we not have any? No. Well, we can fix them. Fix them up. Clear up some space anyway. Do that. Do that. Boom. Do I have a fishing pole by chance? I don't see one. Mm, that goes there. This goes down here. This also goes down here. This goes here. This goes here. Mm-hmm. I really need to clean this up a little bit. I like to separate good stuff from bad stuff, which is why there's a left and a right, usually. Oh yeah, and all that pork I did from the books. and I, I can't even remember what's on for episode 14 and what I didn't get a chance to upload because of the fail mic going on. Oh, an update on my... Uh, I'll take a nap first. I have a quick update on my supply of gunpowder. I've been, before I went and did all the book stuff, I've been AFKing that. Um, I got another this much TNT. I'm actually going to bring this back to its original spot. And I almost have enough to make another full stack, I believe. Let's check. Yep. Just one more harvest. Actually, let's check that now and see. Here's what I've been doing. I, I don't know if this was added or not in the last video. Just a lever with the piston and that's it. Throw a healing potion in there to get all of the everything else but creepers and then use looting three on the creepers. And that's how I've been doing it. And look at that. We are very, very close to being, being able to make another stock of gunpowder. But, um, yeah. Let's pick ourselves up a... Boop, boop, fishing pole, how about? Um... So, yeah. How's your guys' week been? You been good? I heard... That... A certain Zack monster we all know and love... 
is getting his Elgato. He has the, I had the slip for it. I got it in the mail today for the slip for it. Maybe I'll explain that in a second while I'm actually playing the game first. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Well, first I want to see something since it's daytime now. I want to see if shears still pick up because um, I don't want a pair of shears if it's going to pick up the leaves. I don't really want to, for better descript dis descriptive word, a clusterfuck of leaves. That's not something I'm interested in. Oh wow, I actually get the saplings and all that. That's cool. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, okay. Oh, I did get it. Cool. Um Is it not like a hundred percent thing? No it is. Hmm. <laughs> Is there anything that looting and... Hang on a second. Did they add anything for looting or fortune? No. Looting, 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 looting. Nope. I was hoping... Because it, it's mob... has it, Mobs have a chance of dropping more loot. I was hoping they'd do that for shears. So, you know. Looting on a sheep. But someday. Um, Maybe what I'll do is I will, in fact... Because I want a nice pair of shears. Don't ask me why. I don't know. <laughs> I have nothing better to do with these giant, this giant thing full of books. So we'll get an unbreaking efficiency four. I don't. I really hope I don't need levels because I've already put thirty in here. Really? Can I name them too? Um. Ah, uh, what can I do? <laughs> das. Uber. I know there's not the umlaut over the U. Das Uber Schiersen. <laughs> it sounds legit, doesn't it? I don't even speak German. Not a word. Ah, dang. I guess I need more levels, which is cool. So why don't I... Why don't I go get at the level, wrong? Pop in here for a moment. Oh, gee, thanks bro uh, uh, get out of my pond get out of my pond what are you doing you're so weird he's the introvert of the squid community <laughs> I'll clean up the cows for the next enchantment I really hope adding a second enchantment doesn't cost more levels but I suppose that would make sense uh, we'll put the Efficiency 4 on there first. How much is this going to cost? 9? Hmm. Um. <laughs> how much is this going to cost? 5? Alright. Because I'm also going to need... What can I put on a fishing rod? Just unbreaking? Yeah. So I'll need another unbreaking 3 book. Move all these over there. <laughs> To save you guys the uh, the sadness of seeing all these cows go away, I will I will be right back. Okay. They disappeared, and I randomly have a level. Huh. All right then. I guess I'll just have to harvest them later, right, Rosie? I ain't gonna pay you a bribe to not tell the viewers what I did. No! That is... <sighs> Fine, you win. Dang you for being my persuasive dog. Yes, I love you too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. I know. Alright, so, um, yeah, hello, wow, you guys all just spawned so quickly, um, I don't want that, I don't want any of this, mm, or that, or that, or that, or that, thanks, oh, god, oh, wait, wait, yeah. perfect, 
they have a higher survivability if they have to fall one less block, which is why that's there. Yeah. Um, God, I'm running out of space. And yes, I do have a large supply of leather now, which is fantastic. Let me go ahead and cook up all that beef. That'll that'll help the experience a little bit. Uh, ha, 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 ha. So we recapped on the floor. We do have the materials. We have three wither skeleton skulls and the soul sand to get the wither boss summoned. I haven't done anything with that mine. I just I burnt out in one day. I'll, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna just stop though. I'm gonna keep going just at a better clip than I was before, or more a less like. You know, go in and get it done in two days. Go 70,000 blocks an hour. Um, yeah, just for statistics of what I've been doing, go to the blocks here. That's how much clean stone I've mined. That's not the stuff I've blown up. That's just what I've mined. And you can see the 3,300 sand I, I picked up, the 1,100 gravel, the 1,300 uh, dirt. That's what that's called. You're not. I'm not lagging. I just. I was. I was laying back, watching myself, or looking at my statistics. I wasn't actually. You know, like, I didn't say like pistons. <laughs> you know. Um. Wow. That's for made, isn't it? Yeah. Times crafted. I've made four, four hundred of those. Where'd they go? Those iron blocks. 400 iron blocks, 27 diamonds. That's awesome. Um, yeah. What can I do to snake out about 15 really, really quick levels without going back to the end, the nether? I've been there for so long. Oh my goodness. Um, well, let's, let's do another day in the life of what Zach does that you guys don't see. Pick up all my reeds, just in case I need to make books, which I will. Um... Let's see. What else can I cover? Oh yeah, where the uh, the wither fight's gonna be. Well, I've, I've had a couple ideas about that. One would be, would you drown to death? Really? Do you I I don't know. Some squid were just not born swimmers, I guess. <laughs> um, I was thinking out here in the jungle somewhere. Uh, otherwise, let's see, uh, there's a plains biome over that way, if you can see the arrow pretty well, there's a plains biome over that way, and my desert is that way, so I'm thinking it's either going to be in that f jungle or that plains biome, and I do still need to go into that jungle and basically deforest it. <laughs> Which is why I need the uber shears. Because I'm going to use a lot of it. And basically, with efficiency, that'll just be like, I click once in the entire freaking line in front of me that I, as far as I can reach, just, yeah. Um, I probably will break the uber shears, which is fine, I don't really care. Um, but I'm going to need a lot of these. And it's weird, I think I, I collected these two before and after the patch, because um, these are considered oak leaves. They still look the exact same. I've been using these ones for uh, the entrance up there, so there's nothing wrong with them. They still are jungle leaves. They just say oak leaves. I don't know why. I think because they were attached to an oak tree when I cut them, maybe? That could be another possibility. Um, I just need a couple more levels. Thank you. And the... Oh, what am I doing? Good job, Zach. We'll get an unbreaking fishing rod. Because why not? And we'll fish for experience. We'll fish away the day. So, how's it going? You guys, you guys having a good one? Keeping safe? Having a good <clears throat> weekend? Even though by the time this goes up, it's probably going to be 
Tuesday. I still have to upload episode... Ah, oh, that was such a slow reaction time. Episode 12? Maybe 12, 13? No, 13 and 14, and then this one. I'm probably going to do one tonight, one Sunday night. Today's Saturday, by the way. Obviously. Um, oh. Upload one Saturday night, Sunday night, Monday night. So this will either be out Monday or Tuesday, I'm not sure. But, um, yeah. You guys know why I don't fish? Because how long it takes. You guys know what the best enchantment for a fishing rod is? Efficiency! <laughs> they need to add that so fishing is quicker. Put efficiency 4 on the pole and it makes the fish bite quicker. I don't know. It's just, you could sit here all day and not get a bite or you could immediately have a bite but like miss it. I don't know. But one thing I wanted to talk about while we wait for levels, I was, I actually had my hand off the mouse there, I barely got that, was, um, I've been doing a lot of Netflix lately. I, um, I had my hand off the mouse again. I got Netflix about a week ago. I don't remember if I mentioned that at all. I've been watching Burn Notice a lot. I never actually saw the first episode, and I used to watch like the fir the second and third season constantly on TV. So I got it and I've been watching it consistently. I'm about done with season two. Ah, dickfish. But um, I've been doing that. But my buddy G, oh, we're, we're sitting on the Xbox and we're all bored and doing nothing. So he's, I was like, ah, oh, what should I do? What should I watch? And he's like, you should watch the Jersey Shore. I was like, why would I watch the Jersey Shore? And I, I realized at that moment in time that I was not being a man of my word, saying that I'm open-minded and whatnot. You know, don't judge, don't judge something you haven't seen. Don't hate a food that you haven't tried yet. You know. So I was like, all right, all right, I'll watch it. <laughs> and basically. I sat and watched like three or four episodes straight, and it's it's a pretty funny show. Hate me or don't, I don't care. If you hate the show and you want to hate on me for it, make sure you've watched it first for at least an episode or two, because you can't hate it if you haven't seen it. Just because someone who made a meme about J the Jersey Shore and people who've complained on forums about the Jersey Shore know it doesn't mean you do and that leads me into nothing because I don't plan out these things ah, I could totally get into fishing if there was like some faster catch rates but this is just ridiculous oh and in uh, mod news I tried up another mod it didn't work with some mod I already have installed but um I tried installing the Unbelievable Shaders mod. Basically turns this game into looking like it's real life. And, um... Yeah. The texture pack just looks weird if you don't have the mod installed. And I couldn't install the mod because of some existing mod on my game. So that's fine. I was just going to try to make it look all pretty for you guys for one episode and see if my computer could handle it. Um... Yeah. So how about I grind out five more levels and I see you back in a little bit? Da? No? No, why? Just kidding. Boot fracking team. Not really, that didn't take that long. I just waited for the, um, the thingamathings to show up and bada bing. So we got some epic shears. I caught about eight fish. They are in the mob drops because fish are a mob. Yep. Fisher a mob. And um I'm gonna go show you guys whoa 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 turn around. I'm gonna go show you guys exactly what it is I'm gonna do. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna go over here. Okay. We're gonna go over here to the the jungle. Right. 
We're gonna go chuck a pearl, right? Over here to the jungle. We're gonna find ourselves a nice tree. A nice tree. It's gotta be nice. It's gotta be like, hey! Looking good, girl. And I'm gonna be like, oh, thanks. I just got my hair done. I'm gonna be like, oh, where'd you go? It's gonna be a nice tree, alright? This looks like a nice tree. So what we're gonna do is just... I feel like the efficiency is just so unnecessary. <laughs> it was already a one hit, but all right. Okay. So we could go all the way around until, until it feels good, until it feels right, until it makes you want to scream. You know what I'm saying? Until it makes you want to scream. And this is what I'm going to do to kill time. Just come up here and have a peaceful night's rest and harvest a butt ton of leaves. And then when we're done, we go down to the bottom. Go boom. Bada bing, bada boom, bada boopy. And hopefully we come out with a very, very large supply of... Why aren't I picking these up? Interesting. Very, very interesting. Mm hmm. I'm gonna chuck one more pearl right there. And see. Oops. I was idiotized. Idiotic, Zach? Is that the word you were looking for? Idiotic? No. But yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. Pick up a butt ton of jungle leaves for the under jungle project. Why? Because it seems like it'll be a beautiful block type. Now, one thing I have been meaning, meaning, meaning to do that I really want to do. I'm going to sleep off the night. I'll pick up the uh, resources for what I think I want to make it out of. And I will see you ladies and gents back with the next project. <gasps> Cutscene. Alright, so here's what we're going to be building today. We're going to be building Rosie Rose a house. Seems legit, right? Because I've been needing to do... Hmm. Rose, did that bad little creeper hurt you? I'm sorry. Yes. There you go. You feel better now, okay? I love you. I love you. Okay, so, that sucks. No big damage was done. None of the redstone was harmed. While we're down here, I can show you the redstone. Yay. Pressure plates, line. Oh, thank you, Rosie. You come with? Yeah, you're coming with. Ooh. Actually, I'm going to need you to get out of that hole, Rose. You come with? Uh, come on over here. Hey, hey. Come here. Oh, come here. Oh, so come here. Yes, good girl. Okay. Um, basically, what we got... I'll go back in here now without Rose. I don't want to lock her in, that's why. Line. Uh, bu bu bu. To an inverter. Sending a pulse to this line here. To that block I just broke. Oops. Which goes up. And I lost a repeater. Or a torch, it looks like. Nope, right here. And that goes to that, which goes to a repeater, which goes right there, which goes to the thingamajig. Straightforward enough as it is. Um, that sucked. I really hate not paying attention to my minimap when I come out of my house. First creeper explosion since forever that's done any major damage. Well... Not that major. I mean, no one died. Rosie took a little damage, but she tanked it. I didn't raise no not tank. All right, I raised a tanky tank, the tankiest. Uh, couldn't tell you what it looked like beforehand, but that's close enough. 
Alright, so I'm thinking we do something along the lines of getting this out of my life right now. And then we grab these and just, uh, I don't want the leaves actually, so. Yeah. How big does her house need to be? Probably a 5x5, five five, wouldn't you guys say? Ooh, but that's in the way. Oh, that's alright. I can move that down if all else fails. Do I want it to be right next to the farm? Um, or the cow farm? I will move it this direction. And the floor level is what I'm taking out right now, so... Don't y'all fret. I'm just doing this so I can lay the floor down first. 5x5 five five house for a dog is not too shabby. Don't you guys think? It's not too shabby at all. <laughs> Most people don't even start their first day of Minecraft with a 5x5 five five house that's going to be as decorated as hers. Alright, so we got the foundation. Now what we got to do is the supports. Supports always go into the foundation. So, we're going to put them into the foundation. Like a school. Oops, didn't want to forget that side. Eh. One of that's that's one of the two sides that actually shows up. Wow, they really they really did nerf efficiency tools. Okay. Let's go ahead and make that about three high. Her her house doesn't have to be too gigantic. Ah, you would. You butthole. Alright. Perfect. Now for her back window. I want her to have um <laughs> you're gonna have to go to birch tree you're kinda in the way and I'll pick up the leaves just for funsies to make it quicker god that's quick and I heard one of the m one of the the top Top mod makers is actually working at Mojang now. I really wish they would include that. Um, I don't remember what mod it is. If it's a uh, um, equivalent exchange or not, where there's the hatchet where you can just like right click it or do something and it'll just take out all the leaves at once. I really wish that's what efficiency shears or they they do something like that where it just and they're gone. Um, let's go ahead and top this. No, 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 no. Her house doesn't need to be that high. It's a dog living in here. No offense, Rose. Love you. Um, let's see, she likes she likes beef, so I'll give her a nice view of the cows. Sick, probably. Do I care? No. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, no. Oh wow, not a good time to clean off my mouse. Eh. All right. So here's what we'll do, we'll drop all of this down to... God, she's even got a lake house. How many of your dogs have a lake house? None? That's what I thought. Love my doggy. That's why I give her the best. Why won't I let her in my own house? Well, because she doesn't want to live in my house. I've asked her to. I was like, Rosie, come on in. It's raining. She'd be like, nope. I don't want to. Be like fine. If only you guys knew the irony of calling a female dog a bitch in a derogatory manner. It's it's a gay old time. Let's go ahead and put it down here. Why not? And the grass will spread back here eventually, so no worries on that. Put you there, put the oak leaves back on top, and we wait for grass to spread. Now, we're going to do windows on three sides. I'm thinking we do do some inset windows, maybe. Like a so. It does need to be three high. Dang it. I knew I was... I knew it didn't feel right. Alright, I need to go get more birch. I do have birch, but I don't have a cra I do have a crafting table. Hot diggity. The the undercover crafting table. You can make a birch button. Oh, I'm stupid. It's not a birch button. It's just a button made out of wood. Which happens to be birch. <laughs> bada bing. Bada bing. Bada bing. 
Alright. Now what do I mean by inset windows? Hang on a second, she needs stairs possibly. Perfect. By inset windows, I mean they're inset. Bada bing. Like a uh, so. Like a so. And then we put that uh, there. They're kind of like a mini bay window, if you guys know what a bay window is. Yeah. Where they kind of stick out, but not really. In this case, they're stuck in, kind of. But yeah. They're not flush, but they kind of look flush from the inside, see? Yeah, pretty much. Alrighty, and then we need one more for the doorway, like so. Mm, that just looks kind of funky. Hmm. But we do need to stare off the roof. Ah. I know that mechanic was put in there for convenience where you have to look at the bottom and then aim, but... Ugh. Sometimes a man forgets going from one patch to another on a daily basis. Moo! 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 So yeah. <coughs> ding a ding a ding. The bing a bang a bang I don't want to leave the Congo, I refuse to go. So yeah. Building Rosie a house. I, I, I... Oh man, when the heck did I say I was going to do that? Just Coon's age ago? Well, that depends on how old Coon's are. How old it started out to be. How, how, how old most Coon's live. I don't know. Why don't you guys go Google how long a Coon's age is for me? Oh, I forgot to close this. Good job, Zach. Oh well, let's uh, let's chuck a splash potion, shall we? Smack a couple creepers up. Beat him up, beat him up, beat him up, beat him up. And then we put all this stuff away, right? And yes, if you guys are wondering, I did intentionally make it look like my house. Obviously. And then I think what I want to do for the little decorative part, like a little window kind of thing, I kind of want to do a window like so. And then we put the cobblestone stairs over that and keep going like this, like a so. Mm -hmm. Do another one here, like a so. Um, and this is kind of why I'm not a builder, the building type. I don't, I can't talk. I have to focus while I'm building. We always make the overhang. The overhang makes the freaking building. Does it have to be on both sides? I don't know. I always put it on both sides, so. We still have to look at the bottom, which is a bummer, but meh. It was a nice addition to the game. To add upside down, so I shall not complain. Does this bother you guys that they're connected? Me neither. Wait, what do you mean, yes, it bothers you? I don't care. I really like this, by the way. He <laughs> he. Anyway, um, yeah. What should we do for the top cobblestone block? Possibly. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, would a cobblestone block look better? Or whoa, 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 whoa. No, definitely a half slab. But what we need to do real quick is look at the bottom, look at the bottom, look at the bottom. Ah, that one turned in. Lame. That actually might look good. Hang on a second. Oops. Pfft. Good job. Good job. Look at the bottom. How it kind of curves in like that. That might look cool, but it doesn't connect up. It doesn't look like it connects upward, so I'm not going to do that. Just looked interesting for the moment I looked at it. Let's go pop in some half slabs. Bada bing. 
Even though I know I have a crap load of cobblestone half slabs somewhere. And look what I forgot to do twice now. Wow. I'm getting Alzheimer's, guys. I'm gonna... You guys might want to get yourselves checked. Make sure you guys don't have Alzheimer's, too. Don't tell me it's not contagious. Don't tell me. I don't want to know. All I want to know is where love is. And I want you to show me. How's that? Yes, no. There's a little loft in Rosie's house. Oops. That does look kind of weird because it's supposed to be inset one. Oh, that one is inset one. Hmm. I want to know where love is. I want you to show me. Mm. Uncanny. You know what we're gonna do? Because we're nice people. Right, Rosie? Nice people. We're gonna give her a bed. Beds beds are good things to have in a house, I believe. I don't know about you guys. You guys might be the most hateful people ever. Build you guys dogs a nice house and then Nah, you guys wouldn't do that. I know you guys. I know you all. You wouldn't do that. You're, you're dog lovers, too. I can sense it. Sense it in my nuggets. Where are my nuggets located? Um, McDonald's. You asked. She has a little bed. She can be like... Mm. Um, her water bowl, right there. Her food bowl, right there. <laughs> and right there. Cause I feed you all your food, yes I do. Right, come on. Let's show you your new house. Come on. It's gonna be so comfy. Come on. Come on, Rosie. Yeah, it's your new house. <gasps> do you like your bed? Do you like your bed? Yes, you like your bed. Oh my goodness, she likes her house. She likes her house. Success. There needs to be one more thing, though. I don't know how I'm going to wire it up, but I'm going to try and wire up a little light. It's, it's always going to be on. I just want to use a redstone lamp because they look better. And I need to stop making redstone torches before I end up having an infinite supply of them. Even though I might potentially need them eventually, I don't need them now. And I still have two and a quarter stacks of them. All right, Rosie Rose, how about this? We're going to put it right there. We're going to put that right there. Oh, 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 I know, I know, I know, I know. Hear me out on this one, guys. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to put a torch there. Put the redstone lamp below it. <clears throat> we're going to hide the torch completely. And we're going to close off. Oh, wait, doesn't that look really gross when you... Like, completely half slab an area. Like, they get really dark. Oh, not too bad, no. How's that, Rose? How is that for you? Nice. Nice. Alright, ladies and gents. We have made Ro Miss Rosie a house. And she likes it. She, she kicked me out of it because she needs to, uh, sniff around for a while like dogs do. <clears throat> But yes, enough, enough of this. It's time to get to work. Well, actually, if that was the joke, it'd be like this, enough of this. It's time to get serious. We need to stop doing this. If you guys don't get that reference, I'm terribly sorry. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go get prepared. I, I, I kind of wish I had some non-copyright epic music to do the next scene, but um, I'll do my best, alright? And uh, we'll see you then.
sets off an unsuspecting herd and as you step back in the line a mob jumps to the I'm not gonna lie, if you guys don't get pumped because of that song right there, I don't know, there's no pleasing you. But I totally forgot how beast this armor is. Protection 3, Protection 4, Blast Protection, Feather Falling, Protection 3. This Looting 3, Sharpness 5 versus my Sharpness 4, Fire Aspect. I gotta use the Hero Sword, man. I'm gonna rename this all, all this armor eventually. It's gonna cost a butt ton of experience, but... Actually, I think I can... Can I rename some of it now? Like the Hero Sword? Because I think it's seven levels to re... Oh my god! Thirty-one levels just to put a name on these things. Jesus lord. Wow. All right, well, <laughs> I guess that'll be taking a while. Um, but yeah, I I have no words to explain the Break Your Neck song, but I, You're Gonna Go Far Kid was about the only song I could think of at the time. God, I had such good stuff for that, but I kind of want to use... Oh, man, those are both really good. We use the Power 5 Punch. How's that sound? I'll use the whole hero's outfit for all of this. Um, yeah. We've got the... I'm going to be toting around three wither skulls and some soul sand. I think it's... It's going to be... you got to build it like that. So there's actually only four pieces. So we'll take four pieces. <laughs> because losing soul sand would be heart-wrenching for me. Why haven't I slept yet? A hero must rest. A hero! Really? Where is this nearby monster? Uh, hey, bro! What's going on? Yeah. They made zombies destroy doors, so I used a trap door instead. <laughs> ah, you ain't got crap, zombie! You ain't got crap on me. You guys all made fun of my trap doors. <laughs> See see how see how effective they are against preventing a zombie in invasion. Pretty effective. What I'd like to know is why the Wither Boss, although it is quicker to kill, it's also a lot more difficult than the Ender Dragon. Because basically, if the Ender da Dragon didn't you know fly away like a little girl every time it swooped down on you, it would be a pretty quick fight. This guy, he's up in your face. He's firing destruction balls at you. He's you know, he he's going all Goku on your face, just right there. So yeah, um, I don't understand. But I think this is going to be a good enough spot as any. If I die, I can come back here relatively quickly. It's pretty flat open ground, even though he's just going to blow me up into a hole. But um, so yeah, why don't we, why don't we build him right here? Boom, 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 boom. Just like a three-headed iron some iron golem. Now before I put the middle head on, I'm going to start drinking my potions here. Hopefully this doesn't kill me. I have never, ever fought this wither boss before. I've just seen it fought. I've never... I, I, I don't know how people can tell what their health is when they're withered, but let's do this. Oh god, we should get away. Yeah, because he blows up and does a lot of damage to everything. Come at me, man. Come at me. Come at me! Come at me! Come at me! Come at me! I don't know if I'm taking damage or not. Oh yeah, I am. God. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. He's almost half health, and then we're gonna have to pull out the sword and start attacking him. Oh god. Yeah. The first fight's always the worst. Come on, quit missing, quit missing. Exactly. I don't know, I think that was full health there. Back here, come on. Oh, he's at, he's at melee now. Okay. 
Come at me, bro. Come at me. Come at me. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> if I didn't basically have the best armor you can have in this game, that fight would have been the worst thing in existence. Once I get a couple more kills on him and I get a little bit more confident with the fighting, I'll probably... um. I'll probably do like a, an easier one, maybe like unenchanted, where I'm just wearing all unenchanted stuff using unenchanted weapons and tools. That might be an armor. That might be cool. Or I might do like, if I'm really confident and kind of cocky even, we could try a uh, leather armor, a regular bow, and a stone sword or something. I don't know if it's been done. I just, I, it's pushing to be more entertaining by the day, you know what I mean? All right. Ah, that fight was fantastic, don't you guys think? And we have a full dirt chest. That's awesome. Uh, where can I put grass blocks at for the time being here? Why not? I'm probably going to expand this place a little bit. I can't go that direction because of the uh, mine shaft. Um, I'll figure something out eventually, but until then I'll keep grass blocks in there. One, two, three, four. No, no. Three of those. You can see we got the uh, the Nether Star here from that fight. Um, let's go ahead and pop those away, and then the rest has to be glass. I don't know how much glass. We'll find out. We put the Nether Star in the middle, city across, obsidian across the bottom, and glass, and we get a beacon. Beautiful. First beacon complete. Now, I'm going to grab a buttload of iron. I don't know how much you need, but I'll grab... Oops, why am I grabbing three stacks? I think two stacks should be plenty. But, um... I just realized I put away my infinity bow for the uh, the hero bow. And I only brought, like... I would have I would laughed if I did end up bringing one arrow for the infinity bow. But, um, no, I brought half a... Jesus, Lord. <laughs> hero armor. Screw fall damage. Um, why don't we just go ahead and put it right here? I want to make sure it's not in a slime chunk. That's the only important thing. Uh, surface map, slime chunk. So let's go ahead and put it right here, possibly, because I am going to expand further that way. And I believe it needs to be... I don't know if I can put it that high. And yes, I do know I have to dig straight up to the surface. Maybe we'll do that now. Because this, the beacon has to have a straight shot to the surface in order to, um... That's a really bad idea, Zach. Maybe you should pick up a torch somewhere. Uh, are there any redundant torches? I don't usually... Yep, there's one. It wasn't really redundant. It was kind of necessary. You don't have to make fun of it. Ah. We'll put one right there, and that should be slightly better. Um, yeah. So I'll dig to the surface, make a little poke hole for the um the beacon, and uh we'll be back when that's all set up. Okay, okay. And we're back. And uh, slightly in black. Back in black yeah, okay. Um, so we're gonna put it here, the center's gonna be here, so I'm not sure how high it has to be, like I said. We'll figure it out. So the first layer, I think, is a 7x7. Seven seven. Oh, that seems very large. Hmm. I think it needs to be something like that all the way around, possibly. Pardon me for not knowing. But, um, yeah, this is honestly my first time actually doing this kind of thing on my own, so... Ah, no, it needs to be... 
like this. Got it. Got it. Get it, got it, good. Like a so, you can see we got a th half, a quarter of it done now. Uh, two stacks might actually be a little bit. Y you can go away now, thanks. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, two stacks for one of these things is quite expensive, don't you think? I think so too. But I think just for a little bit extra, you can actually make it, um... What am I trying to think of here? You can make it hold five, just for five beacons on one pill on one, uh... Pyramid. So it's not terrible. It's just not cheap for the v beginning of it. Like, just for the first beacon, the, the ratio is ridiculous. And, um, how it works, actually is the biggest pyramid, the one I'm making, has a reach of 40 direct, forty blocks in every direction in a square. So it's almost like two and a half, it's, it's two and a half chunks in every direction. So you know, you see on my mini-map right there, the red squares? That is a chunk that slimes can spawn in. That's how big a chunk is. So you double that in one direction. I don't know why I'm pointing. You double that in one direction and then put about a half of it and that's how far in every direction the beacon will reach well that's some um, that's the furthest and then you just have to uh, pick what what you want the beacon to do and um, yeah but luckily I can still make about another three pyramids worth of beacon things even though I'm probably only gonna make I don't know two or three beacon posts depending on how big the under jungle is Let's try to grab the ladder before we hit the bottom this time. Thanks. Not that it damages my uh, my armor at all. Wow, you are a dexterous slime. I don't even know if that's a word, but whatever. Dexterity, dexterous, whatever. And you cannot leave it hollow, if you guys were wondering. That is not a possibility in the slightest. Hey, nobody asked you, sir. I'm going to have to ask you guys to retain a fair distance from the summoner. Where'd you go? Thank you. And then basically what we do is we carve out a little room like this. Because I can. Hey! Holy buckets. It's not even a fortune. All right. It's not even 4chan, bro. It's not even 4chan. Um, and yeah, hopefully this will help the digging process. There's not going to be any TNT nearby, and I will probably relocate it once the uh, under jungle is a little bit more established in shape and size and whatnot. But yeah, we stick that down. Sends a beam all the way up to the skies. I want haste. Can I do haste too? Haste 2 would be beautiful right now. And then we should... Where aren't we getting it? Hmm. Ah! Haste 2! Sweet! Now this is just efficiency 2, but I've heard if you have an efficiency 5 pickaxe... Haste makes the game just broken. So why don't I grab uh, one of the super picks and uh, we'll see how entertaining this can be. Someday soon, my friend. Someday soon. Alright, let's try this out and call it an episode. Now, it, does it affect me from here? It should. It checks every three seconds, so... Right here, maybe? Um, interesting. I really don't like these slimes. I'm probably gonna, like, rush this, depending on how far away this reaches. Why aren't you reaching me from here? Oh, you do. How far away are you exactly? Can I reach? Here? Oh, still refreshing. 
Still refreshing. How about here? It's right here would be golden if it still worked. I think it just has to like once I get in it takes a while maybe. Cause I think it's forty blocks. But uh let's try this. We got the uh one of the super pickaxes. Yeah. Yeah. And the best part about this is it legitly leaves all the ores alone because the ores take longer to break. So I just sit here mindlessly breaking cobblestone with my epic pickaxe. Um, like this. And cobblestone does take longer as well, which is why that was doing that thing. But yeah, so that's a thing. Oh my goodness, though. That's just... For a guy that likes to mine, that's just fantastic. Sorry, buddy. That's probably really retarded of me to do. Anyway, oop. let's go ahead and... Probably be patching up the floor more than I'll be breaking blocks with this thing. Jeez. <laughs> but yeah, so... That is a very, very, very good reason why I just got the beacon. And now you guys know to get yourselves your own beacons because it's fantastic and totally worth the fight assuming you have access to good armor now I had probably the best armor you can have that was just insurance because I didn't know what I was doing if you guys had access to just unenchanted diamond armor possibly a possibly a power 4 bow would be awesome if you could get like a level 30 bow with power that would help out immensely for the uh, first half of the fight and then I mean sharpness I don't think I don't think smite or any of that works on it whoa get out of here buddy and the best part is there's other things like the beacon is not just not just haste there was uh, one that makes your sword do more damage one that makes you jump higher one that makes you run faster so eventually, when I, once we're once we're down here and this is our permanent residence, man, we'll just be blazing around, being able to jump two blocks high. It's gonna be a gay a gay old time, in the old sense of the word gay, not the new one. But um, yeah. So this is what I'll be doing in my off time, just running around, having fun with my mega pickaxe. Just when has cobblestone ever been this fast? Unless you're on freaking like, creative mode. And yeah, I will clip a an iron ore every once in a while, but for the most part, it'll be safe. Not that I need iron ore, but you know, depending on how how often I can pick up um wither skulls, we might need a lot of iron because I know the under jungle is going to be big, and I don't know how many beacons with stuff on them I'm going to need. But you figure, l l let's say it's small enough that I only need two beacons or two two pyramid beacon or beacon pyramids to cover all of the area, which I won't. I'll probably need four at least. That's five beacons per pyramid, which leaves me with about 20 beacons, which is almost a stack of wither skulls. Now, and that's also, you know, 20 wither fights I have to do, assuming there's not like a fire and the wither star gets destroyed, which does, or the nether star gets destroyed, which does happen. But anyway, I'm I'm having way too much fun. I'm getting way too distracted with this. Uh, G, I, de I definitely think you would uh, enjoy this type of mining. It's quite fun. It on it actually trumps TNT mining tenfold easily. Um, even if it's chain TNT mining, or if you're just setting a big chunk of TNT and just hitting the detonator. But um, yeah. So hopefully next time we'll have a lot of progress. I'm probably gonna have to take a break in the middle of clearing this out to um, repair all three of my I only have three of these but one's already broken almost that's fine though but anyway thanks for watching see you guys next time